Hi guys. All right, today I have another reformer workout for you, okay? This one, we're only gonna be utilizing that Pilates ring as a prop, okay? So if you have one of these, grab it. If you don't, that's okay. It is just an added prop. It's gonna help you connect to center a little bit, get a little deeper into the movement. So it's not completely necessary, but if you have one, definitely bring it around, okay? So we're gonna set that down on the side though because we're not gonna need it for every move and we're not gonna start with it. I am on a balanced body reformer today, okay? So a balanced body studio reformer, to be specific. I have an infinity bar, so if my foot bar looks a little different, that's why. I have it in the all the way up, upright position. Now, if you have a regular foot bar from balanced body, it's probably tilted forward just a little bit, and most other brands as well, that's perfectly fine. You just want it in the most upright position you can get it in. I have one light spring on, that's one blue spring for me. If you're working on a balanced body, that's a blue spring for you as well. If you're working on another brand, just one spring is probably perfect to start, okay? Um, we are gonna be starting rear facing, but before I get started, I do wanna mention that I do do these workouts without any music, and the reason for that is I wanna make sure that I'm not muted or cut off, I don't own the rights to any music, so that's why I we post these with no music attached to them. So definitely play your own music in the background so you feel, feel pumped and motivated and I'll do my best to keep you motivated as well. All right, all right. So you have that one light spring on your carriage. Let's come down onto that reformer, rear facing. So those knees are gonna come up against those shoulder blocks. Okay, hands are gonna come down onto your rails and you wanna find a nice four point kneel. So those knees are underneath those hips, shins are nice and heavy. My toes are not turned under. We're gonna walk those palms out on those railings so they're about four inches in front of that shoulder. Okay, so we want some room to draw the carriage in. We're gonna work on some spinal flexion here. So we're gonna start with a nice big inhale, inflating those ribs. We're gonna exhale, nod the chin, round that thoracic spine, hold. And now we're gonna draw that carriage all the way into the palms. Pause, and then we're gonna take it all the way back to a flat back, letting that spine unwind, okay? Same thing, exhale, nod the chin, round that spine, pull that belly button underneath your lowest rib, draw that carriage all the way into your palms, pause, and then as you let it glide back, you're coming all the way to a flat back. Okay, we're gonna go two more times like that. Exhale, round and curl, hold, Draw that carriage in. So the rounding of the spine comes first before you allow that carriage to move. Find the rounding first. I know it's tempting to just pull right away, but I want you to find the rounding of the spine first and then draw that carriage in. You are gonna feel those deep abdominals so much more. Inhale, take that carriage all the way back to a flat back. All right, now we're gonna angle it a little bit. So my left hand is gonna stay on that rail. My right palm is gonna come right in front of that left palm, okay? So now our torso is angled just a bit. Knees stay where they are in front of those shoulder blocks. From here, same exact movement. You're gonna exhale, nod the chin, round the spine, hold. You may find range of motion is different here. And then draw that carriage into that left palm. Inhale as you slowly let it unwind. Good, exhale, nod and curl, hold. Draw that carriage in, keep those shoulder blades down around your ribs. Inhale as you glide it back, we've got two more right here. Exhale, nod and curl, hold. Draw that carriage in, you should feel that waistline working really hard. Good, coming all the way back to that flat back. One more, exhale, nod and curl, hold. Shoulder blades pulled down and around the ribs. And then we take it all the way back out. We're gonna come all the way to that right side now. So right palm's gonna come back to that rail. Left palm comes in front of the right, okay? Left in front of the right. Find that angle torso. Let's start with that exhale. Exhale, nod and curl, hold. Draw that carriage into that right palm. Inhale, slowly let it unwind. Good, same thing. Exhale, nod, round that spine right from the center. Draw that carriage in with heavy shins, heavy knees. Good, inhale, take it all the way back out. We've got just two more to go. Exhale, nod and curl, hold. Draw that carriage all the way in. Pausing right at the top of that movement. Good, 
last one. Exhale, nod and curl. Hold, draw that carriage all the way in. And take it all the way back out to that flat back. Come all the way through center and walk yourself up. Nice job, you guys. All right, core is ready. The core is definitely on. All right, you are going to need your ring now. So for this position, you know, and I should have mentioned this, your uh, foot bar, if it's in, in the way of your platform, you are going to want to move it for this one move. Okay, so let's bring that foot bar all the way forward. Okay, and we're going to take off both springs, or all springs, sorry. But before you get there, your left knee is on the platform, okay? Your right knee is on the carriage. Reach down and take off all springs, okay? So that one light spring is now removed. That ring, okay, is going to come right to the solar plexus, so right at the base of the ribs, and we're going to bring our arms just to, around that ring, encircling the ring, okay? Fingertips are on that other squishy pad. All right, from here, make sure that ring is not on your belly button, okay? It's just at the base of the ribs, right underneath that chest. All right, from here, we're going to stay nice and tall. That's what this ring is here for, to remind us to keep the sternum over the pubic bone. Okay, inner thighs are engaged. The booty is not gripping. From here, we're going to keep those shins nice and heavy, and we're going to inhale as we open up that carriage, okay? Keeping ourselves upright. When you're at your fullest range of motion, okay, in your body with the right form, you're going to draw those inner thighs up and into the pelvic floor, up and into that belly button and bring it against the bumper. We're going to open that carriage nice and smooth with control. Good. And then we're going to draw those inner thighs up and in. Good. Into that low belly to close the carriage. All right, make any adjustments you need to for that platform. Good, my knee was definitely hurting there. Good, and then drawing it all the way back in. Good. So now on the, I want you to think about your breath here. We're going to exhale as we open now. That inhale is going to help us draw up and in. As we inhale, we're going to think about gathering the inner thighs, lifting them up into the pelvic floor and the low belly. Belly button pulls up and in, and we close the carriage. Exhale, open it up. Good. Inhale, draw it all the way up and in like an octopus gathering or coming up out of the water. All those tentacles come together, right? It's a horrible analogy, I know, but it makes sense if you think about all their tentacles pulling up and in. That's what's happening in your body. So right here, we're gathering all those muscles up and into the midline. That's where you start to feel that shake and that tremble. Let's go one more. Exhale out. Inhale as you gather and draw everything up and in. Good. Now on your next one, you're going to open halfway. Okay, so we're halfway. We're not all the way open. From here, we're going to take that ring and we're going to bring it between the palms. We're going to give that ring a little bit of squeeze, not just from the shoulders, but from that mid-back. Okay, we're staying nice and tall. Core is really tight now. From here, we're going to reach those sitting bones back for our heels. Try not to let that carriage go anywhere. And then we're going to inhale as we rise back up. We're going to exhale. Reach those sitting bones back for your heels. So think about really sticking your booty out there. Okay? Torso tilts forward. You've still got to squeeze on that ring. And then we inhale as we lift up out of that inner thighs. Lift us. Exhale. Reach those sitting bones back. Don't let that carriage go anywhere. Inhale, rise all the way back up. Open up the front of those hips. Let's go two more, giving that ring a nice little squeeze. Good. Ribs stay stacked over that pelvis as we tilt forward. Up. Good. Last one. Reach, 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 reach with those sitting bones. Torso tilts to keep the ribs closed and stacked. And then we inhale as we rise all the way up. Now, holding this position, we're going to squeeze in on that ring as we pulse up and in one inch. And release on the ring, open one inch. Close one inch, squeeze the ring. Open one inch and release. Squeeze and close. So it's a pulse, but instead of pulsing out, we're pulsing in. Okay, we're drawing those inner thighs up and in to the pelvic floor. Good, it takes a lot of concentration to think about that intentional movement coming from those upper inner thighs. It's really easy to move the knees in and out. I could do that all day, right? But we want to think about gathering those inner thighs up and into the low belly 
and then slowly releasing, releasing, or pulling it up and in, and slowly releasing. Let's go for four more, draw it up and in. Slowly release. Good, last three. Slowly release. Good, last two. Good, little tremble all through there. And last one. And bring it all the way. Now before you go anywhere, just set that ring on your carriage and hook that blue spring back on or that light spring. Okay, so that carriage doesn't glide away from you. You're gonna set your ring down on the floor because we don't need it anymore for this next move. And we're gonna move that foot bar all the way back up. So that's just the one time we're gonna be moving that foot bar. Okay, from here, we're gonna stand up on the carriage, okay? Hands are on those on that foot bar, and your feet are four inches apart parallel. Okay, I've got my feet about six inches away from the front of the carriage. That's where you wanna stay. We're gonna bring our shoulders over our wrists, and we're gonna let that carriage go all the way out to a nice long plank, okay? So shoulders stay over my wrist. All 10 fingers are on the front of that foot bar. That's gonna help protect that wrist. From here, my left, or sorry, my right foot is gonna stay on the carriage, but my left leg is gonna lift up, okay? Just a little leg lift, nice and straight. Now, my right knee is gonna bend in, bring the carriage into the bumper, and send it all the way back out, nice long leg. Good, bend that knee, draw it in, bring that knee under the hip, and then send it all the way back out, okay? So it's basically right now a single leg plank, Okay, we're gonna be taking this into an arabesque where these legs are gonna to work together. Let's go for three more just like this. Good, starting out really slow so we can get that movement together. Last two, drawing that right knee in and out. That's all that's happening right here. Last one. Okay, now on the next one, your right knee is not gonna pull in. Your left knee is gonna pull into your chest and now the legs are gonna switch position. So right knee comes in as the left leg goes back, and then we switch. It's like we're running in place, okay? Those legs are switching position. You're gonna feel that right quad a lot here, okay? So even though our left leg is that gesturing leg, the right one's gonna to start to burn, but I want you to stay with me, okay? We've got three more right here, just like this. And then we've got some holds coming up. Last two, keep those shoulders over that foot bar. On your next one, you're gonna hold the right knee bent under you, left leg is up and back. That left leg is gonna pulse up, up. Little mini arabesque, protecting that low back so it's not a gigantic kick. Okay, my hips are level, my belly button's pulled up and in, that right quad is engaged. You should feel that. You should feel a little fire right there for four. Last three. We're going to be going back to full range of motion in two. All right, on the next one, hold it there. We're going to switch those legs again and bring it back. Good. Switch. And right knee bends, left leg straight. We switch. Good. Let's go three more. we got another hold coming up. Good. Last two. Keeping that core tight. On your next one, that left leg's gonna be back there again. Right knee is bent under the hip. Little leg circles with that left leg. Golf ball size circles, make them small. For four, three, two, take your circle the other way. Other direction, good. I know that right leg burns, stay with me for four. Three, two, Back to full range of motion, legs switch. Good, we have one more hold. Good, so find this full range of motion, give yourself a little relief here. Good, we've got three. Last two. All right, you guys, one more. This next one, we hold that right knee bent one more time. Your right heel is high, remember your right heel is lifted. Pulse your standing leg, little lift. Up and down from that right side for four, three, two, and set that left leg down. Woo! Okay, some fire on that right leg. Step down onto the floor. Okay, we're going to change our spring. So we're going to switch that one blue for a red. 
that medium spring, okay? So one red spring. If you've got a different ref, uh, reformer, that may be a red for you as well. You may want two springs here. That would also be fine. Okay, so no ring for this one. Right foot on the floor, left foot up against that shoulder block. Hands on that foot bar, okay? We're gonna start with a lunge. Now this is heavier than usual. I usually do a lunge much lighter, but there's a reason we are gonna take it into a jumping lunge, okay? So first, we're gonna exhale as we bend that right knee. Carriage presses back. Inhale, stand up on that right leg. Exhale, bend that right knee. Kneecap tracks in front of that ankle, okay? You wanna line that kneecap, kneecap up with big toe, second toe. So find that alignment, okay, that's important. That right foot is nice and flat. Good, now we are a little bit heavier here. So normally I would say the only way that carriage moves is because you're bending your right knee, okay? Glides back. So there may be a little bit more of a press here, but I want you to keep your hip bones level, okay, and moving together. As you reach back for that lunge, that right sitting bone reaches back away from that right kneecap. So lots of length on that right thigh. And then we come up. Let's go for four more, because then we're going to start to fly. Good. Last three. Good. You've got two. Setting ourselves up. Okay, we're just starting, to, starting with this lunge to set ourselves up for that jump. Now on the next one, you're going to come into the lunge. So find your lunge. Now when you come up, you're going to shift your weight into the foot bar. Right leg kicks off the floor. And then you come back to your lunge. Lift, shift your weight forward into the foot bar. I'm holding myself up like a plank. Okay, bring it all the way up. Good. Protect your low back. So that kick coming off the floor, it's not a gigantic kick, right? My low back stays nice and flat. Core is nice and tight. Every time I land, I've got that alignment for my front knee. Right in front of the ankle, lining up with big toe, second toe. Good. Keep it going here. Your heart rate will pick up a little bit here. Excellent. Good. Keep that weight shift into that foot bar. Good. You'll find weight in that carriage as well. But we want to keep the weight on that left toe, those left toes, pretty light. Let's go for four more. We're going to be adding some holds. Last three. Good. You've got two. Inhale, lift. Exhale as you lower. And your next one, we're going to hold it up there for four, three, two. Lower it down. Good. Next one, hold again. Hold. Four, three, two. Lower it down. Good. We're going to go one more hold. Hold. Four, three, two. Lower it down. Good. Full range of motion right here. Regular jumps for four. Good. Last three. We got some ab curls coming up, so we're going to hold that jump again. Last two. All right, on your next one, we're going to hold it up there one more time. My right knee curls in and out. In and out for four. Last three. Last two. Woo! Last one. Bring it back to your lunge. Hold your lunge. Okay, so keeping it down there. Find that right knee alignment in front of the ankle. Big toe, second toe from here. We're going to peel our right heel up and set it down. Peel it up and set it down. Now, if you take your hands off that foot bar, bring them to prayer. You've got a little bit more weight with that medium spring on there to fight against, but I want you to keep those hips aligned. Okay, core is nice and tight. We're recruiting that inner thigh for that heel peel. You've got it. Good. Nice little lift and lower. Every time we set our heel down, we press it into the floor for four. Last three. That press is going to activate that glute. Last two. On your next one, you're going to hold that heel lifted. Okay, right here, we're going to pulse. That pulse is coming from that right sitting bone. Little lift and little lower. Good. 
Holding it here, still reaching that right knee away from that right sitting bone. For four. Woo, last three. Last two. Keep that right heel lifted. Don't go anywhere. Back knee, your left knee taps the carriage and goes back out. It's a little tap and extend. So that left knee is bending so that the kneecap can tap the carriage. That's it. Everything is isometrically holding on that right side. Your core is super tight. Your waistline is super long. We're here for six, five, last four. You've got three. Last two. And bring it all the way down and in. Nice job, you guys. I grab that ring. We're going to keep it on that red spring, okay? We're going to get into a standing position. So, you know what I want you to do for, we're gonna do scooter. A good way to get into this is bring both feet to the floor and stand up straight, okay? Once you're in that position, scoot towards the carriage and bring your left foot against that shoulder block. Nothing should have changed with that right leg. You just moved in, okay? So now, your right foot is pretty close to the carriage and you're standing directly up over that leg. That ring is gonna to come to the solar plexus again base of the rib cage, okay? We're gonna encircle that ring, helping us to stay upright again, okay? We're gonna softly bend that right knee just an inch or two, okay, and hold. In this position, we're gonna draw, we're gonna send that carriage back through that left foot. So it's an inhale, extend, and glide it back. Press, and bring it back. Now your right leg is that stabilizing leg, okay? It takes lots of concentration here, to not let that body be shifting all around. Okay, so the reason we call this scooter, right, is I want you to imagine you're a little kid on a scooter. That left leg is your push-off leg. Okay, everything else is nice and stable. Core is nice and tight. Good, if your right toes are clenching the floor, try to relax them, okay? Good, we want a full foot connection. So you're heavier spring, but there's me meant to be more force through this exercise. Okay, so you really want to drive. Drive that heel back. Extend. Let that left knee glide under the hip. So really press it back with some force. Okay, it's a little bit faster here. There's no layers, but keep that right knee soft. You should feel your right glute. Okay, you're here for eight, seven, six, five. You've got four. Whoo, last three. You've got two. And last one. And bring it all the way in. So good, all right. We are coming on to the carriage now. That ring, we're gonna keep that ring. All right, so my left leg is gonna be on the carriage. My right leg is gonna be in the well. Okay, so my left knee is going to come up against that shoulder block, all right, and right foot is going to be right in the well of the machine. Now, from here, you're going to bring that ring right to your solar plexus again, reminding us to keep that sternum over pubic bone. We're going to turn those right toes out at that 45 degree angle and make sure your right leg is straight to start, okay? It's going to be coming into a knee bend, but it needs to start straight. Keeping yourself tall. We're gonna keep that left knee under the hip, okay? And from here, right knee is gonna bend, and then we're slowly gonna release it. Left knee is gonna bend. So it's a single leg plie. That right knee is tracking with big toe, second toe, okay? Just like it was before in our lunge. Okay, you want that knee to track. The toes are turned out, so you're out at that 45 degree angle. That alignment is gonna protect the knee, okay? This is not meant to hurt your knee. So find that alignment. You should feel your inner thighs. There should be a lot of shape right here. Good. Let's go for four. We're gonna be holding it bent in three. Good, now we left it on that one medium spring, but if you need to change it down to that blue, you go ahead and do that. Last two. All right, on the next one, we're gonna hold the right knee bent. So you're gonna bend into that single leg plie and you're gonna hold. Now my left leg is gonna join the party. It's gonna open one inch and close. Open, 
and close. So you're basically letting that hip go, and then you're drawing it back in. That left knee comes under the hip. Good. Think about that inner thigh sucking up into the pelvic floor. We draw that femur bone up and into the hip. We let it go out, and then we draw it up and in. Good. It's a lift. A pull and a lift for four. Good. Last three. Last two. You should feel a lot of fire right here. Last one. And release it all. Nice job. All right, we're going to come kneeling on the carriage. This one, you're going to want to change your spring. So we're going to add that blue back and take off the red. Okay, so you've got that one light spring. We are going to find a hover position, but first, we're going to grab our long loop. Okay, so I'm facing the right. I've got my long loop, and that ring is going to come right between my palms. Okay, now from here, I'm high kneeling, sternum over pubic bone. I'm going to reach my sitting bones back. So from here, reach, 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 reach till you're in a little hover, and we're going to hold it right here. That ring is going to come up and over my head like a halo. Okay, we're going to hold it here, give it a tiny squeeze, and now we're going to side bend to the left. So we're going to inhale, side bend, lifting up and out of that right waistline, exhale back to center. It's an inhale and a lift, even though you're in that hover, okay? I want you to think about picking that waistline up out of the pelvis, okay? It's a lift and reach over. Arms aren't changing position. Good, it's all coming from the waist. Good, inhale up and over. Last four. Inhale up and over. Good, last three. Good, you've got two more right here. Inhale, up and over. Good, let's go one more. Up and over, keeping those ribs stacked over the pelvis. Good, now from here, holding that hover, those arms are gonna reach up and down like a top hat. Up and down, the stability is coming from the core, okay? That, that strap, okay, moves the carriage just a bit because that body is so stiff. Core is so tight. Okay, those arms just come up a couple inches and go back down like you're lifting and lowering a top hat. Notice my body's tilted forward just a bit. Okay, that's because of that hover. We're reaching those sitting bones back. So hold that position for four. Last three. Good, think about those inner thighs lifting. Last two, magnetizing towards the midline. Last one. Good, on your next one, you're gonna bring that ring in back in front of the chest and we're gonna come high kneeling, okay? We're gonna extend those arms all the way out and long. Okay, that right arm is tired, I know it is. But from here, we're gonna stay high kneeling as we inhale and we rotate towards the foot bar. Exhale, back to center. Inhale, rotate from the waist, pelvis is quiet. Exhale, back to center. Good, inhale, eyes stay in the middle of that ring. That's gonna allow the waistline to generate that spiral and not the head, neck, and shoulders. Good, let's go for four more. Whew. Excellent, good. Last three. Good, we've got two. Ooh, that right arm, last one. and bring it all the way down. All right, stay facing the side. You're gonna come seated, okay? Keeping that ring, all right? So you wanna scoot your booty back pretty close to the back edge of that carriage. Both heels are on that carriage, all right? You're gonna take that ring to the solar plexus. Now I know the knees are in the way, but we're gonna be changing all of that. So ring, base of the ribs, okay? You've got your long loop. Let's take that long loop around the squishy pad. Okay, so the, the squishy pad is holding my loop as well as me. Okay, right heel is going to stay on the carriage. Left leg is going to come out nice and long like you're in a half teaser. Okay, from here, keeping the core nice and tight, we're going to rotate again. So we're going to inhale as we rotate to the left. Exhale back to center. Good. Inhale, rotate towards the foot bar from your waist. Exhale back to center. Good, point those left toes, rotate. You should feel a shake through that left leg. Inhale, rotate. 
Exhale to center. Four more. Inhale, twist. Exhale, back. Last three. Good, you've got two. We got one more little thing to do here, so don't go anywhere. Twist. Good, bring it back to center that left leg. It's gonna tap the ring and lower. It's a tap and a lower. That left leg should feel shaky. Good, holding it here. You're holding it at center. We've got six. Whew. Last five. We've got four. Last three. Good, last two. And last one. Whew. And bring it all the way in, guys. Nice job. All right, hang up that strap just for a moment. We're leaving on that blue spring and you're gonna come on your back with that ring. Okay, so now we're crossing over to the other side, the other leg, but first we have a little, a little exercise through middle. So set that ring on your chest. You're gonna grab those long loops, okay, and you're gonna bring them up around the arches of your feet. Okay, so once you've got those straps on, you're gonna take that ring and you're gonna place it right above the bony landmark of your ankles. Okay, once you've got that ring there, okay, legs are really shaky already. We're gonna keep them up over the hips, okay? So, you wanna find a position where you've got your neutral spine, right? Tailbone is heavy, low back's got that little lift, hip bones are shining straight towards the ceiling, ribs are closed, belly button is in. All right, from here, keeping those legs in parallel, they're already shaking a lot, we're gonna take those legs down to a 45 degree angle, and we're gonna hinge them back up. I've got a very light hold on that ring. Good, it's a hinge, and we come back up. Everything is shaking, <laughs> everything is shaking. So this is gonna feel pretty shaky by the end if you're not already there. Let's go for four more just like this. You've just got a light squeeze on that ring. Arms can be long by your side if you're capable of keeping those hip bones stable, okay? Woo, last three. We're gonna keep changing it up. Last two. Good, one more hinge in that parallel position. Good, now the next time those legs are up over those hips, we're gonna take them into internal rotation. So the whole leg from the femur bone swivels in back, okay? You'll see those toes shine inward. Holding that neutral pelvis, we're gonna lower in that hinge, and we're gonna bring it back up. Woo, shaky. We're gonna lower in that hinge, and bring it back up to start. Now normally, when I do this in a class setting, I always tell my clients, if you drop that ring, I'll get it for you. But in this case, you guys are on your own, me too. I feel like that ring is gonna drop any minute, but stay with me, okay? It should feel shaky, it's supposed to. We've got two more in this internal rotation. Good, we're taking it to external next. All right, bringing it all the way back up to that start. From the femur bone, whole leg swivels external rotation. Toes go angled out now. Okay, but it's from the top of the hip. Hip bones are stable. Let's take that hinge again. Hinge it down on that inhale, 45 degree angle, right above the foot bar. Exhale, bring it back. It's a light hold on the ring. I am not squeezing it to death. Okay, good. Light hold. Keep the back of the knees open. Good, let's go for four more. Good, last three. Woo! <laughs> Feel those inner thighs, right? Feel those inner thighs. Good, last two. All right, you guys, we're gonna keep changing it up. One more. Good, hinging it back to start. From here, in that start position, go back to parallel. Let's go down to a 45 degree angle and hold. Okay, now from here, we're gonna bend those knees in over the hips. Stop them over the hip. And then from there, from the glam line, we send them out. We bend the knees, we stop them over the hip. And from the back of the leg, with lots of intention, we send that ring out through the heels. Good. Think about those inner thighs lengthening all the way out through your heels as you drive that ring forward. 
Knees stop over the hips to get the femur bone back down in that hip socket where it belongs. Good. That way we can drive from the core. Drive that ring out. Good, long waistline. You've got four more. Good, lots of control, lots of focus right here. Because I know it's super shaky. Last three. Woo. I don't know if you can see it on camera how much I'm shaking. <laughs> but those straps are trembling like crazy. Good, last one. On your next one, you're going to hold those knees bent over the hips. Okay, from here, we're going one inch out and one inch in. One inch out and one inch in. You are driving from that gland line where the glute meets the hamstring. Right there. Intentional movement. I want you to think about the movement coming from there. Because if you think about that, that's where it'll come from. Okay, you've got that little squeeze in on that ring from the inner thighs. It's a very light hold. Whew, we're here for four. We're almost there, guys. Last three. You've got two. On your next one, you're going to send those legs all the way out. From here, we're going to squeeze the ring from the upper inner thighs. It's a pulse in, 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 in. Feel the low belly and the pelvic floor and those inner thighs squeeze inbound for four, three, two. On your next one, you're going to hold that squeeze. You're going to take one ab curl and my palms are going to come inside the ropes. I'm going to pulse out on the ropes and try to get myself to drop that ring, but I'm not going to drop it. Okay? We're going to hold it. We're pulsing out on the ropes for eight, seven, six. Squeeze that ring. Five, four, three, two, and draw it all the way in, you guys. Whoo! Put the ring on your chest. <laughs> take your legs out of the straps. Oh my gosh. We're going to find the foot bar. Oh! Let them have a minute. All right, we're going to come back onto our knees, but this time we're going to be facing the other way. Okay, we're going to start with that ring, upper body ring work. So, all right, Kayla just all nice and sweaty. All right, so we're going to bring that ring right to the solar plexus again. I'm sorry, yes, right to the solar plexus. We're starting there. No, no, I lied. Boy, now I keep forgetting. We bring the ring between our palms, okay? From here, we're going to reach those sitting bones back. Okay, so we've got the long loop in the left hand, right between the palms. We've got a light hold on that ring. We're going to reach the sitting bones back for the heels till we find that little hover. Booty is hovering over my heels. I've got those knees four inches apart, okay? Ribs stacked over the pelvis like Dixie cups. Okay, we don't want the Dixie cups to open. We want to keep them stacked. All right, from here. We're going to do that little side bend, so we've got to bring that ring up and overhead like a top hat. All right, we're going to lift up and out of that left waistline as we arc towards the foot bar and bring it all the way back to center. We're going to inhale up and over, lifting up out of that left waistline and bringing it all the way back. Inhale up and over. Exhale back. Good. Four more. Lifting the left waistline out of the left hip and bringing it back to start. Three more. Inhale. Exhale back to start. Good. Two more. Keeping the pelvis quiet. Last one. You got that top half lift coming up. Okay, so from here, we're holding it at center. Light squeeze on the ring. We're lifting and lowering. It's up two inches and down. Little lift of the top hat, and we bring it down. Good. Stable core, stable waistline. Those shoulder blades float down the back a bit as you bring that ring up two inches. Little lift, and lower. Good. Nice control for four. Last three. You've got two. Ooh, last one. On the next one, we're going to bring that ring back to the front of the chest. We're going to be in that high kneeling position now. Okay, light hold on the ring. Wrap those shoulder blades around the ribs. We're going to take that ring all the way out to long arms. Okay, left elbow is still soft. Both elbows should be soft a bit. We're going to tighten the core as we inhale and rotate to the right. Exhale back to center. That rotation is coming from the waist. 
okay? So if you keep your eyes down the center of that ring, that's gonna help you maintain the drive from the waistline and not from the head, neck, shoulders, eyes, all of that. We want it to come from the waist. Pelvis is quiet, nice and quiet. Inner thighs are gathered up and into that pelvic floor. So those inner thighs are magnetizing towards the center of your body. You can think about pulling your kneecaps together without actually moving them. Okay, let's go for four. Good, last three. Let's go for two. Whoo, that left arm, right? Good, last one. And bring it all the way to center. All right, we're gonna come seated. Keep that long loop. Keep your ring. All right, we're gonna scooch back pretty close to the back edge of that reformer. Just enough room for a lean. Left foot's gonna stay on the uh, carriage. Heel down, okay, toes are hanging off. That ring comes to the solar plexus. We're gonna take that long loop around the squishy pad. So it's looped on there, okay, it's got a little hold. All right, from here. Now, if you don't have the ring, I should have mentioned this before, you can have your hands in the short loops in prior position, okay, and that will help. You can get the same movement. That right, um, right foot is gonna extend, that right leg's gonna extend nice and long. From here, keeping that low back nice and flat, we're gonna rotate, inhale to the left, to the right, exhale back to center. It's a twist. Good, left rib basket, left ribs towards that right inner thigh, and then back. Twist, and back. Good, rotate. Hips are quiet, it's a little easier to keep the hips quiet when they're grounded. You're on those sitting bones. We've got four more twists. Inhale, rotate. Exhale through center. Good. Inhale, right leg should be trembling. Good. Last two. And let's go one more. All right, on the next one, you're going to hold it at center. Right leg is going to tap and lower. Tap the ring. And that's where you're aiming for. It's a lift and a lower. Lift and a lower. Good, find that shake and that tremble and that right leg shouldn't be hard. Not right here, good. Keeping those inner thighs magnetizing towards the midline. We're here for four. Last three. You've got two. And bring it all the way in, guys. Nice step, hang up that loop. Hang it up, we're gonna do that single leg plie. So, right knee is on the carriage, left foot is in the well. All right, that right knee is going to be up against that shoulder block. Okay, we're going to keep that right knee under the hip. My left foot is going to be down in the well. Okay, I'm going to turn those toes out. My left leg is starting straight. Okay, so from here, level out those hips. Bring that ring right to your solar plexus. That's going to keep us upright. Sternum over pubic bone. Nice tight core. Shoulder blades wrap the ribs. From here, we're going to bend the left knee, so keep that left foot nice and flat. It's an exhale. Bend, draw the carriage in, inhale, take it out. Now I remember, I didn't change you right here. We were on a red spring last time, so if you want to switch your springs, I should have done that before for you guys. Add your red spring, take off that blue, okay? If the red was too aggressive last time, you leave that blue on. But we were on one red last time, so we're back on that red. Here we go, tall torso. Bend that left knee, draw the carriage in. Inhale, take it out. Exhale, bend that left knee. Take the carriage back out, extend the leg. Good, left knee bends. Track it with big toe, second toe. We want to protect that knee joint. Okay, I want you to feel those upper inner thighs, not the knee. Okay, core, pelvic floor, all of that working right here. Good, exhale out. Inhale, draw in. Exhale, release it out. Good, let's go for four. Good, last three. Lots of concentration and focus, even on my part right here. So it comes from the right spot. Okay, it's intentional movement coming from the core. It should not be coming from your knee or that foot. Last two. And let's go one more. 
Good. Now on our next one, we're going to be holding. So that left knee is going to bend and it's going to hold the carriage. And now our right knee is going to play. It's going to come in and out. In and out. It's that upper inner thigh drawing that right femur bone up into the hip. And then we let it release and slide out. We draw it up and then we let it slide out. Left knee is holding. Good. We're staying upright for four. Last three. Woo. Last two. And one more. And bring it all the way out. Nice job, you guys. Woo, those inner thighs are getting it today. All right, what's next? Before I forget, I'm taking a scooter. Mm -hmm. Okay, so on that run red spring is where we stay. This time our left foot's on the floor, but first we're going to stand up on both legs, nice and tall, normal standing position. Right foot is going to come up against that shoulder block, okay? I'm going to slide that left leg closer to the reformer. Ring is going to come to that solar plexus place of the ribs again. We're going to encircle the ring, staying tall, connecting the shoulder blades down and around the ribs. That left knee is going to soften just a little bit. Core is going to stay nice and tight as that right leg drives out and bring it back in. Drive it out and bring it back in. Okay, so find your alignment here. Find that little sweet spot where that left leg is your stabilizer. Okay, you're staying over that left leg and we're able to find a drive through that right heel, okay, generating from that psoas muscle at the base of that core on the right side. Hips stay together. Excellent, guys, good. Meant to be a little bit quicker, meant to be a little bit more forceful here, okay? There's no layers here. So I want you to find that drive and that glide in. It's a drive, press it back. Good. Left leg. If those left toes were gripping, release them. Try to plant that heel flat on the floor. Good. We're driving. Good. Let's go for eight. Good. You've got seven. Six. Last five. Good. You've got four. Last three. We've got two, Woo. and last one, and bring it in, all right, set that ring down, set that ring down on the floor, because you don't need it for this movement, all right, we're going to do the jumping lunges, but we're going to start with just the press back, so staying on that red spring, all right, left foot comes a little bit more forward, closer to the foot bar, that left foot is still up against that shoulder block, okay, or right foot is up against the shoulder block, and that left knee is going to bend now. So from here, we're going to exhale. Bend that left knee, finding the alignment of the kneecap in front of the ankle and tracking with big toe, second toe. We bring it all the way up. Good. We press it back. Keep getting that back leg, that right leg to be as straight as possible. Okay. We don't want to let it bend in every time we come out of the lunge. Okay. That knee is going to be bent a little bit just because of physiology within the body. Okay, not going to be perfectly straight. Good, and we're exhaling as we lower, inhaling as we lift. Every time we lower, that left kneecap reaches away from that left sitting bone, and then we draw it up. Okay, I want you to think about those hip bones moving together, and that there's lots of length on the front of that left side, because that left sitting bone has to press so far back. We're setting ourselves up for that jump. Let's go for four more. Fully standing all the way up. Last three. Good. We've got two. Good. One more. Now on the next one, you're going to take the lunge. Okay, so we're going to find that lunge. And then on the inhale, we're going to drive into that foot bar. Left leg comes off the floor. And we come back to our lunge. We drive it up. And lower. That kick is not big because I'm protecting my low back. So when I come up, that low back does not overextend. We don't let the belly dump for the springs, okay? We stay lifted between the shoulder blades, so we lift up like we would in a plank. Finding that deep lunge every time you come back down for that landing. Heart rate's going to drive up a little bit here. Try to keep those right toes as light as possible, all right? Woo! 
We got six. Last five. You got four. Last three. Two. We're coming up on those holds. Last one. Okay, on our next one, we're going to take it up and we're going to hold for a four count. Hold. Four. Three. Two. Bring it down. Next one's a hold. Bring it up. Hold. Four. Three. Two. Bring it down. We got one more hold. Bring it up. Hold. Drive it up there. Four. Three. Two. Back to full range of motion. Good. Just that regular jumping lunge. We're going to come up on that ab curl next. Good. Let's go for four more here. Last three. Two. Woo. One. On the next one, we're going to hold. Hold it up there. Knee pulls in. Left knee in. Out. Curl. Out. We're curling into that knee. Good. Yes, you can. You got it. We've got four. Woo. Three. Last two, keep that carriage in. Last one, bring it back down to that lunge. Hold your lunge. Whew, hold it here. Now my left heel is going to lift and lower. Lift and lower. If you can bring your hands into prayer and fight that resistance of the carriage, okay? Gives you that much more work through that left leg and the right leg. Should feel that right upper inner thigh quite a bit. All right, we're here. Big reach through that left sitting bone for four. Last three, hips are together. Last two. On the next one, you're gonna hold your heel lifted. From here, we're gonna go for a little pulse. That little pulse is coming from that left sitting bone, okay? That left sitting bone narrows. It narrows towards the middle of your body, so it lifts you, and then it broadens to lower. Okay, so feel that in your body, that bone rhythm, okay? I know you feel a lot of other things right now, but try to focus right there for four, last three, last two. On the next one, you're going to hold that heel lifted, back knee, right knee taps the carriage, and back out. It bends and taps and goes back out. My left heel is off the floor. Okay, I'm in that releve on that left foot. Knee tap. And now, this is it for six. Woo, last five. You've got four. Last three. Last two. Heel down. Come all the way back up, guys. All right, we got that air best. Let's switch our springs. Okay, let's take off that red. Come back to that blue. Come up onto your carriage, okay? We're almost there, guys, so, so close. All right, feet are on the carriage. We've got four inches apart parallel. I'm about six inches away from the front edge of my carriage. I'm gonna bring those shoulders right over those wrists, wrists or shoulder width apart. We're gonna take that carriage all the way out to a nice long plank and hold. My heels are lifted and they're gonna stay that way, okay? Left foot stays on the carriage. My right leg's gonna lift. Okay, little mini arabesque. From here, my left knee is going to bend in and take it all the way out. We're going to bend the left knee under the body, and then we're going to extend the left leg all the way out. So it's like a single leg plank, okay? I want you to think about keeping those hips level, keeping that core tight, keeping the shoulders over the wrists. All right, we're going to let both legs play together. All right, in four, last three. Elbows are soft, guys. Don't lock them out. Everything needs to be actively engaged. All right. On the next one, we're going to keep that left leg long. Right knee pulls to the chest. And now the legs switch. And they switch. So as my right leg goes out, my left leg bends in. And my left leg goes out, my right leg bends in. So we're switching. Like we're running in place. Good. Holding it here for four. We got those holds coming up in three. Last two. All right, you guys, the next time that that left knee 
is bent under the body. You're going to hold it there up against the bumper. Right leg is up. Up. We're pulsing that arabesque on the right side. Hips are level. Yes, they are. Woo. We're here for four. Good. Last three. Last two. All right, legs go together. We switch. Good. Back to full range of motion. Good. Running in place. Little arabesque. Protecting that low back. Lifting up between those shoulder blades. Hips stay level for four. Woo. Last three. Last two. On the next one, hold that right leg up and back. Left knee is bent a lot. Heel is up. Little leg circles from the top of the right hip. Little leg circles. Yes. For four, three, two. Take your circle the other way. Good. Little, little circle like a golf ball. From the top of the hip, the whole leg for four. Woo. Three, two. Legs go back to full range of motion. This is the last time. We've got one last hold. That's it. Good. Keep them switching. Whew, this is it. Last four. Good. You've got three. Last two. Whew, one more. We're going to hold the left knee bent. One last time. Right leg is long. Pulse that left leg. Pulse from that left sitting bone, left quad. Whew, we're here for four. Last three, last two, and bring it all the way in. Holy cow. Okay, right from here, we're going to take an elephant stretch. Okay, so staying on that one blue spring, I want you to walk those legs back towards the middle of the carriage. Feet are nice and flat. Now my shoulders are going to be way back, okay, so that I'm pulling myself back over my heels. Okay, so you've got your hips directly over those heels. From here, we're going to keep the shoulders back where they're at, and we're going to drive those heels out, okay, to get a stretch through the back of the leg. Holding it there, keep your heels down, and then like a pendulum, we're going to draw the heels back under the hips. Good, and bring it into the bumper. You'll feel a nice stretch up into the glute. Good, let the carriage swing out from your heels. Nothing changes with my upper body. My upper body is nice and stable. Okay, I'm going to bring that carriage back in. Drive those sitting bones back over my heels. Ooh, and let the carriage swing out. Good, so your legs are like a pendulum here. Swinging from the hip. Getting that nice deep stretch as you bring the carriage into the bumper. Feet stay flat the whole time. Bringing it all the way in. Good, you guys, let's go for three more just like that. Lengthening it out. Bringing it all the way back in, stretching through the sitting bones. Woo! Two more, hinging it out. Good, bring it all the way back from the core. It's nice and tight. Good, now on your next one, we're going to let it hinge out or swing out. Okay, now when you're going to hold it right there with that stretch through the back of the leg, you're going to pedal the knees. So you're going to bend that right knee just a bit. Bring the right heel back down, bend the left. Good. Switching. So you're pedaling the knees, but we're lifting the heel. We're letting the heel lift. Good. The next time that that right heel is lifted, keep it up there, and let's draw that carriage back in with the right heel lifted. Good. Let's take it back out. Driving through the left heel now. We're going to set the right heel down. Lift, lift the left heel. Right heel stays down. Okay, we draw that carriage all the way back in. Good. Set both heels back down. Okay, now, from here we're going to come into a little bit of a, a waistline stretch. But I want you to uh, hook on psoas stretch and waistline. I want you to hook on some more springs. So I want you to add two red to that blue before we go anywhere. So this carriage is nice and heavy and hard to move. Okay, from here, we're gonna keep those feet about middle of the carriage, okay? And we're gonna press back away from those palms, okay? And we're gonna lift that right leg up and out, okay? Nice big stretch. Now, we're gonna let the right hip open as the left knee bends, okay? And we get a little twist right here. 
So you're holding onto that foot bar. We're opening up the hips. I'm twisting. I'm standing directly on that left leg. Okay, just opening up that front hip for four. Good, last three. Two. Good, coming all the way back through center with the torso, leveling out the hips, bringing the right foot down. Right foot's gonna stay down now. My left leg is gonna lift up and out. Okay, and as I lift it up and out, I'm gonna allow my waist or my uh, pelvis to twist, and I'm gonna bend that knee, opening up that left hip. Good, standing directly on that right leg. Good, just letting that heel, that bent knee draw me over. If you wanna play with extending that leg, you always can. Good, we're here for four. Last three, last two. Good, bring it all the way back through center. Good, coming down onto the carriage, taking a nice child's pose, so take your hands onto that platform out of the way, that foot bar, take the knees nice and wide, find a stretch through that shoulder, through the mid back, reach your sitting bones for your heels. And just take two big breaths for me right here. Nice big inhale. Exhale, all that air out. Inhale, expand those ribs towards the sides of the room. Blow all that air back out, guys, and you did it. Nice job, nice job. It was not an easy workout. I hope you enjoyed it, though. I hope you felt the burn. I hope you felt the shake. All right, and if you have any comments for me, please leave them below the video. I love to hear them. The feedback is super helpful, and it allows me to produce more videos for you, the kind of videos that you want to see. All right? You can also find me on Instagram at Just Be Fit. It's the exact same name as it is on YouTube, so pretty easy to find. All right, and have a wonderful rest of your day, guys. See you soon.